Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Sims 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at three separate mods, all being made by user Poppyheart, which add into the game Rooster Teeth shirts and posters, and that is a wonderful thing, because I'm a big fan of Rooster Teeth, and uh, the ability to have in The Sims 4 some of the things I actually have on my wall or in my closet is just really cool. So, first off, we are going to take a look at the two mods that add in shirts, and for this we're going into my uh, Let's Play save here, where we're going to just grab Liberty Lee and head on into the uh, editor where we will head over to t-shirts and you'll find these rooster t-shirts in the everyday t-shirt section and we're first gonna have a look at just the sort of generic rooster teeth ones which is the first mod and well you see here we've got a glorious but simplistic rage quit shirt who doesn't like a bit of rage quit and if we just change down here move on to the team lads action news a personal favorite of mine a very very good shirt indeed and then moving on to the next shirt we have selected the i'm going cakeless ah you gotta love ray there always a wonderful shirt to be had and i actually have that one in my closet it's just beautiful and then moving on to, of course, King Gus. And one thing, while I'm sort of taking a look at these shirts, you may notice that since it is Liberty Lee, a one unfortunate thing, oh, except for this is not unfortunate, the lovely Ruby shirt, but one thing is all of these shirts are for female only. Which, you know, if you want your character to have an X-Ray and Vav shirt, it, it better be a woman because, sadly, they're not currently available for males. And even though it would be great to have this particular Rooster Teeth shirt on my Malthus character. Uh, but yeah, for the time being, it is just females who can have this beautiful Let's Play shirt. Uh, but hopefully that will change in the future. Now we've got two more here for the just Rooster Teeth ones. The just... A good old Achievement Hunter logo there. And then last but certainly not least, we have the Free Edgar, my personal favorite shirt in this collection because, well, Free Edgar 2013. It's, it was a very important cause that sadly didn't end up working. Next on the list, we have the Achievement Hunter shirts, which is the second mod we'll be having a gander at here today, and it's, well, just a collection of the various Achievement Hunters with, uh, you know, part of their persona on here, like good old Ray with his rose. Got to love that one. Uh, moving on to, uh, yeah, Jack in the beard. I, I, I actually have this one. It's, it's a good one. I have a beard and glasses myself, so good to have that shirt. And yeah, but just moving on with uh, the various characters and yeah, the Achievement Hunter shirts, only a, a couple of them, but all very good quality, nice shirts to have in The Sims. Gotta have the Tower of Pimps right there. A beautiful, high quality shirt. And again, last but certainly not least, uh, there we are. The man himself, Jeff, a beautiful achievement hunter in a good old sort of grayish blue. And yeah, that is it for the shirts that we have on hand. Again, sadly, they are only for your female characters, but they are very cool, very high quality shirts that, well, my Malthus character in the background could use one right now, but sadly, not yet for males. Hopefully that will be changed in the future. So now on to the second, or well, rather the third mod that we have in this little show today, where we're taking a look at posters that can get added into the game and so for that we're gonna head on over to my strange amalgamated mod save file that just has a crap load of things everywhere and we are going to head on in to the building editor where we will go to decorations and then of course wall decorations where we have five absolutely gorgeous and beautiful posters on hand from the uh, Rooster Teeth chalk board to X-Ray and Vav. A uh, nice little, just generalized Rooster Teeth, Rooster Teeth poster, rather. Uh, a second X-Ray and Vav, because, well, who doesn't like X-Ray and Vav? And finally, a Ten Little Roosters poster, which I have to say is kind of my least favorite of these. Awesome series, love that show, but... 
I honestly don't think that one fits in with The Sims. All the shirts that we've looked at previously and all these posters, especially the X-Ray and Vav ones, they all really feel like they kind of fit in The Sims. You know, you've got the sort of exaggerated rooster teeth logo in them and, you know, the exaggerated text and uh, the... X-Ray and Vav, they look like some of the cartoon characters you see in some of the, like, kids' posters and things like that in the game already. But this Ten Little Roosters one here, it, it's, it's photos brought into The Sims, and that's a little unnerving. Again, wonderful little interactive murder mystery show, but... As a poster, that one I, I don't care for, but all the other four are beautiful. They fit in very well with The Sims, and I love having them in my game now. Of course, along with all those glorious shirts. So, yes, that is going to be it for this episode today. If you would like to download any of these mods, you can follow the links in the description. And I would say, if you are a Rooster Teeth fan like myself, to go and check them out because, well, they're all beautiful. Beautiful, very well put together, very good quality, and they all, again, really, really fit in with The Sims, so I just absolutely adore it. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode today here, and of course, that you come back for the next, when hopefully I find some fun new mods for us to take a look at. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.